Good morning, Lord Austin Mill School students. This is Mr. Woolley. Remember, the information contained in this video is intended to be viewed only by the students in Mr. Woolley's classroom. For watching the video, you agree that you will not record or share the video with anyone who is not a student in Mr. Woolley's classroom. All right, so we have our circles and area problems review today. So here is our video explaining how to solve any answers on the review. Remember, make sure you submit twice before watching the video. All right, we want to find circumference and give an exact answer in terms of pi. Now, lucky you, when you find that exact answer, it means just leave it as something times pi. Well, to find circumference, it's just diameter times pi. Well, in the picture, diameter is 28. So the circumference is technically 28 pi. I'm just leaving it in terms of pi. And since pi is already in here, all you got to do is type in the 28 for the diameter. And that's it. Same circle. Find the circumference of the provided circle. Use 22 sevenths to represent pi. Well, the diameter is 28. So take 28 over 1 times pi, and I said to use 22 sevenths. I can actually cross cancel with sevens here. So divide by 7, divide by 7. I get 4 times 22 to give me 88, and 1 times 1 on the bottom gives me 1, and that gives me 88 centimeters for the circumference, the distance around the circle. Still using the same circle now, except now I want to find circumference using 3.14. So now circumference. Follow my formula from the picture here. There's my diameter. So 28 times 3.14, I get 87.92. So I have my first answer, 28 pi. I have my next answer, which told me to use 22 sevenths. I got 88. And then I use 3.14, I get 87.92. So fairly close answers. All right, next up, find the perimeter of the semicircle. Use 3.14 to represent pi. So perimeter means the distance around something. So you got a half circle that I'm going to have to figure out. And I also have a flat edge. All right, so half a circle, I need half the circumference. So diameter times pi divided by 2, because I only want half of it. So the diameter is 22 times 3.14 divided by 2, I get 34.54 for the half circle. The flat edge is 22. Add them together, you get 56.54. Next up, circle has a diameter of 15 inches. Find the exact area in terms of pi. Lucky you, you get to just leave some of it alone at that point when you'll see it in terms of pi. So the diameter is 15. So I draw a circle, diameter all the way across is 15. So the diameter is 15, the radius is 7.5. Since I'm looking for area, I need pi times radius times radius. So pi times 7.5 times 7.5. I can at least multiply these two and get 56.25. And just leave it times pi. And pi is already in the answer blank for you, so all you really have to type in is the 56.25. Six, a circle has a diameter of 15 inches. Same circle again. Find the approximate area using 3.14 to represent pi. Well, if I have my area here, pi times radius times radius, I get 3.14 times 7.5 times 7.5. Multiply all that together, I get 176.625 square inches. Okay, that's question six. Next up, still dealing with that same circle. Circle's got a diameter of 15. And the circumference of the circle. So for circumference, remember, I need diameter times pi. Okay, well, in the picture, the diameter is going to be 15. So 15 times 3.14 gives me 47.1 inches. There we go. Number eight. We're backwards a little bit here in this one. It says the area of a circle is 49 pi square centimeters. Find the circumference of the circle using 3.14 to represent pi. All right. We get area from pi times radius times radius. Now, if the area is 49 pi, and all the pi is already right here, so I already have that all done. But 49. Well, what times itself is 49? 7 times itself is 49. So the radius must have been 7. So pi times 7 times 7 is how we got 49 pi. Now, if the radius is going to be 7, that means the diameter of that particular circle has to be 14. And if I'm looking for circumference, I need the diameter. So circumference is diameter times pi, so just take 14 times 3.14, and you get 43.96. All right, next up, a circular piece of metal has the center punched out. What's the remaining area of the remaining metal? You use 3.14 to represent pi. So you have a big circular piece of metal, and then they punch out the center, so you don't want that middle piece anymore but you still have all this big ring around the outside. So what I'm going to do is find the area of my large circle, and I'm going to take away the area of that smaller circle that's going to get punched out. So pi times radius times radius, pi times 9 times 9 gives me 81 pi. Now you might wonder, well, why is he leaving it? Why is he not using 3.14 yet? Well, you'll see why in just a minute. It makes it a little faster. Area of the small circle, pi times radius times radius. Well, pi times 4 times 4 gives me 16 pi. Now, if I subtract these, 81 minus 16 gives me 65 pi, and the only time I have to touch my calculator on this problem is right here. 65 times 3.14. Now I substitute it in and I get 204.1. So 
you could actually get the decimal numbers here and get decimal numbers here and subtract them. You'll still get the same answer, 204.1. So just trying to speed up the work a little bit. Next up, we have question 10 from the area of the figure. It's kind of like that basketball court, the key area again. You can see the little 90 degrees. We know it's a rectangle then. So the rectangle, it's a 20 by 28 rectangle. So 20 times 28 gives me 560. Now the half circle, well, the diameter is 20. So that means I need the radius, though. So pi times radius times radius divided by 2 because it is a half circle. Well, 20 is the diameter. Radius is 10. So 3.14 times 10 times 10 divided by 2 gives me 157. So 560 plus 157 gives me 717 for my grand total. Next up, we have this type of shape. And find the area of both. Well, it's an 18 by 21 rectangle, so we got 378. And the triangle's base times height divided by 2, so 18 times 8 divided by 2 gives me 72. And add the two together, and I get 450 square feet. All set there. And we have one more problem here. Find the area of the shaded region in the provided image. Use 3.14 to represent pi. All right, so kind of similar to the problem we did with earlier, the um, center being punched out of a piece of metal. Find the area of the big circle, subtract the area of the small circle. Now the large circle, pi times radius times radius, well, if I look at the picture, the center to the outside edge is 12. So 12 times 12 gives me 144 pi. I'm going to leave it times pi. You don't have to. You can just get the whole big decimal number if you want. And then small. Well, all the way across here is 12. So that means the radius halfway is going to be 6. So pi times 6 times 6 gives me 36 pi. Now, 144 minus 36 gives me 108 pi. And then now, the only substitution I technically had to do is substitute in 3.14 right here. So 108 times 3.14 gives me 339.12. But remember, you could have got decimal numbers up here if you put the 3.14, put decimals up here with 3.14, multiply everything, and you still subtract, you'll still get the same answer. All right, well, thank you for watching, and good luck on the test.